une petite bière, Reg, avant qu'on commence. Ou euh... <rire> Dog House Rose ont donné tout un spectacle. Ça tape tu oh, oui, oui, oui. Un Chris de bon show. Bravo, 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 mes nouveaux amis de Toronto. Allez euh, acheter leurs albums, les chandails, allez les voir sur YouTube. Dog House Rose. <rire> Comme, comme il dit. <rire> euh, donc, on est évidemment avec euh, Doug Alves Rose euh, pour, euh, dans le fond, la suite euh, du Vox Pop euh, Festi Rock Saint-Colomba. Euh, so, hi guys, uh, my name is Melody and I hope you guys enjoy uh, your uh, day today here at Saint-Colomba. Uh, I have my first question for you. Like, I guess not everybody here know you. So, if you had like one word to describe the band, Uh, what would it be? Currently, probably sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> um, in, a, in a short phrase, I would say uh, retro-inspired pop punk. Oh, nice. Yeah, that counts. That counts because it has the hyphens between. Yeah, exactly. Has dashes. <laughs> All one word. <laughs> <laughs> and we know, we know this, that your outfit today matched the guitar. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it wasn't on the on purpose. <laughs> right Now right you on. tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was very like epic on the stage. <laughs> on the stage. Hey, I mean, we we're trying to create a vibe, you know, and kind of just it, the visual representation is kind of part of how we communicate to to you know the audience and stuff like that. So we try to incorporate that as much as we can. Oh, very and, nice. Uh, yeah. And how did you start your relation with Stump Record? Um. Well, like we've been playing with a lot of the bands on the label for quite some time and uh, we've wanted to be part of the fam for a very long time as well and uh, we just kept chatting with them about it and we uh, our last record we finished it and it wasn't released it was kind of in the final stages and then we sent it to them we said what do you guys think and they said we like it we're gonna put it out Huh. Yeah! <laughs> exactly. That's exactly how that went. Oh, nice. <laughs> so it's been great ever since. We just released the second uh, record on the album, and this time we actually get to play live alongside it. So that's oh, very exciting. Oh, very good. I'm going to hand this off to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you. And like, um, <laughs> My turn. <laughs> we noticed that you're like um, very, very being very active on the punk scene those days. So I want to no how many shows did you perform about per year i think we tend to book pretty much as much as we can within our, our working schedules because we're all working full time but i'd say in the past year i would say we'd played about 50 to 70 shows yeah so, that sounds right so it's yeah. about wow yeah about a fifth to a seventh of our time playing shows or our days playing shows at least <laughs> that's kind of uh, impressive for one year so it's very very impressive And um, we would like to know one of your best tour story to tell. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, I'll pass it over to you. What, uh, you want to hear something, like a weird thing that yeah, happened to us? weird, funny, yeah. Okay, weird story. Uh, Are we going? Uh, how, how deep? How deep down the rabbit hole of Dog House Rose do you want to go? Because yeah, we've had. Uh, yeah, what we uh, we've done Europe a bunch of times, oh, yeah. and uh, we had a former booking agent like years and years ago that would book us at the weirdest places, and uh, some of those were like maximum security prisons. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh. we played. We played some prisons. Wow. And weird stuff definitely happens at the prisons. Um, <laughs> What happens in prison stays in prison. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Except right now. We're breaking the silence. Yeah, we're breaking the silence on this. We won't tell. We won't tell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is one of our favorite uh, tour tales because this is like, it sounds so made up. <laughs> but this is, uh, 100% is true. <laughs> so this was, I think, was it the third time we played oh, in prison? Oh, It was, it, was a, it was the last time we played in the prison, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last time we played one, and we went out with a bang. So, uh, so like, we get to the prison, and, like, we have to go through all, like, the security check and everything, like, empty our pockets, and, wow. like, yeah, it's, like, a lot of security because it's a prison. <laughs> and we, so when we finally get inside, and we're at, like, the reception area, it's, like, a big, like, kind of common space where there's just, like... All the guards okay. and everything meet up. Okay. Yeah, it was the, it was the chair. <laughs> for all those <laughs> listening. It was, it was the chair. Second story to tell. Yeah. We were saying that happened on tour. 
<laughs> this, this chair made a crazy sound. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Hello. so we're, yeah, we're in the reception area, and we see a poster for the show that we're playing at this prison, and it's like a Grateful Dead kind of poster. You're like, oh, I'll, I'll find it. I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> and, yeah, it's like this Grateful Dead looking poster, and it's really bizarre. And we're like, cool, like that's awesome. And like the warden was kind of like chauffeuring us around and escorting us to uh, the room that we're playing in. It's just like, oh yeah, it's this this inmate Alex, he loves doing his art. And he, he listened to your album because, like, he, we had a CD in their, like, library. Wow. So he listened to it. He really likes it. Uh, maybe he'll come. Maybe he won't. He's a bit of a shut-in, so probably won't, but we'll see. So we're like, cool, yeah, hopefully we can meet him. He's like, yeah, you could, like, maybe go to the cell later. We're like, okay, cool, <laughs> cool. Um, so he also mentions, like, yeah, this Alice guy, like, you'll be able to see him. He only has one hand. He just says that. Has one hand. We're like, Okay. And then, uh, I think he said it because like we were like, oh, that art is interesting. He's like, yeah, he did all that with only like three fingers and one hand. We're like, oh, neat. Like, what a guy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what talent. <laughs> Overcoming the odds. <laughs> yeah. So we, we play the show. It's like in a room like this almost. Okay. And so it's like tight quarters, like acoustic little show. Wow. And then Sarah is like on the mic. is like, yeah, like is uh, Alex around? I was like, we'd like to meet him. Like, he made this cool poster, and they're all like, oh, Alex, blah, blah, blah. Like, kind of, there's little rumblings. They're, like, giggling about it. They're like, okay, I guess Alex's not here. All <laughs> hands were spoken for. There's two, everyone had two hands. They're like, okay, not here. And then, uh, yeah, the warden after the show is just like, oh, yeah, you could, like, uh, you could go meet him if you'd like. And they're like, yeah, maybe. And he's just like, yeah, just a uh, uh, heads up, though. Like, when I said he has one hand, that's all he has. He doesn't have legs and only has the one arm, and he did it to himself. Wow. Yeah, he cut off his own limbs. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's I hope we out. should turn the camera <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, only has, it sounds like I'm telling a ghost story. <laughs> oh, but my God. So he did it to himself, and it was like, like a like kind of a fetish kind of thing, like the for reason, sex yeah, <laughs> for sex reasons. What? He cut off his limbs. Yeah, we're like, oh my god. It's like, yeah, and he like wrote a book about it and like where to go in the world to like get people to like, like amputate your limbs for you if you'd like, or and, like how to do it yourself if you're so inclined. Like this whole like backstory. He has like a website dedicated to it. And we're like, oh my god, and it's like, yeah, like. Would you like to meet him? Like, maybe do, like, a couple songs in his cell? <laughs> or, like, absolutely not. Oh. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it felt like, like, like ha meeting Hannibal Lecter or something. <laughs> <laughs> but the weirdest part of that whole thing is, like, you know what Alex was in jail for? Insurance fraud. <laughs> oh. Like, the most normal yeah. blue-collar <laughs> crime. And, like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's our weirdest tour story. Wow, that's a very good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so weird. I, wow. I told that story to this metal band that I was touring with, and, like, I didn't really know them. It was one of those just, like, kind of showed up and got in a van with them, and I used that story as, like, an icebreaker because it's like, oh, they're metal guys. They'll love this story. And, the, like, they wow. cut me off. Like, so it's like, oh, that's so gross. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to be sick. And, like, that's I'm very sorry. impressive. <laughs> yeah. I was like, jeez. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So there you have it. Anyways, yeah, that's, that's so weird. <laughs> you cut my last word. last time we played a prison. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we don't saw you in some prison gig here in Quebec for some day. I or never say never. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, do you have some future future date here in Quebec or? Um, I don't think we have anything booked yet, but we're working on something in Montreal for the fall. Ooh. We love coming here. We love coming all around Quebec. It's great. Everyone is like the crowds are awesome and like super enthusiastic and like not gonna lie, like we all have a bit of a thing for Putin. So like you know we have to make regular <laughs> trips or we're just gonna <laughs> wither away and die. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much, and I hope you can like tour here like a few more time and enjoy some Putin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>